Chris, mm -hmm. um, this is an effect called Eliminator. Yes. Um, you're going to have to play the part of two spectators okay. for me, because you're going to have to remember two cards. Dual-minded. Dual. Yes. Um, in fact, as spectator number one, mm -hmm. think of any number between 1 and 52. Don't tell me it, just think of it. Got it. Okay, is it odd or even? Odd. Odd. So pick an even number for spectator number two. Yes. Yeah? Okay, take hold of the cards uh -huh. as spectator number one. Yes. And deal face down to your number. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is is it your number there on the table or in your hand? Uh, on the table here. Okay, take that card. Yes. Um, and pop it somewhere where I don't know where it is. And uh, pop the rest of the deck on top of the pile on the table. Yep. Okay, now pick up the cards of spectator number two. Mm -hmm. And deal down to your even number. Mm -hmm. Yep. And take the card that lands on your yep. number. Take a look at it and pop it away somewhere and drop the deck on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, Are you, do you know what two cards you've selected? Can you have a little yes. peek? You can, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and run through the deck mm -hmm. and I, I'm going to try and tell you by memorising the deck what two cards are okay. missing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, usually that would take even the, the World Memory Champion, mm -hmm. that would take, you know, a good minute or two mm -hmm. to get through. Um, and just so you don't think that somehow I've managed to stack the cards, we're going to give them a, a few shuffles mm -hmm. as well. Okay, fair shuffles. Yep. Just to make sure that they're not in a certain order and I can easily tell what two cards are missing. Sure. So here we go. I want you to sort of time me with this. Just count along in your head. But mm -hmm. I usually can do it in about 25 seconds. Okay. Okay. I know there's a lot of dead time here, but... Okay, I'm done. Right, the yeah. first 15 seconds, yeah. new world record. The first thing Excellent. that told me is there's more red cards than black cards, so both selections are black. Yes. Yep. Yeah. There was more spades than clubs, so both selections are clubs. Yes. Yep. Yeah. There was also only 11 pitcher cards in the whole deck, so one of those selections is a pitcher card. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So I know there's a, a club pitcher card and a number club mm -hmm. card. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, unfortunately, that's all the information I could gather, but we're going to try something else. Um, while my back is turned, slip those two cards anywhere in the pack you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it don't have to be next to each other. They could be either ends. They can, yep. you know, but somewhere in the middle. Yes. And then square up the deck so there's no edges. Just check them there's no edges sticking out or anything else. No, nothing. Sure? Yes. Okay. Watch carefully. I'm going to take the cards. We're going to put them in my pocket. Yeah. Now, I'm going to give you the choice of whose card I find first. Okay. Spectator number one or spectator number two? Uh, number one. Number one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I believe that's spectator number one's card. And we're going to go in and hopefully that should be spectator number two's card. Uh, what was spectator number one's card the for the first time? Ace of clubs. The ace of clubs. Yes. And spectator number two's card? The queen of clubs. The queen of clubs. Fantastic. And these are different cards every time. Absolutely no false. That's Eliminator. It will take you five minutes to master. 